Hi everyone, in this video, like uh, uh, we are discussing how to decommission or delete a partition, okay? Um, which means like you got a request to uh, decommission uh, like partition in the Linux, which is not no longer required, uh, okay? So in that case, uh, how we delete it, and then and if you have like uh, all the partitions deleted per disk, how you delete the disk which you do not require, okay? How to do this stuff? Uh, I'll let you know. So, how to delete um, a partition, a primary partition? How to delete LVM partition? Both the steps uh, have here. And then um, how to delete? And uh, uh, we can also uh, how to delete the VM. I'll show you. Okay. So let's quickly go through the practical stuff. Okay. So uh, let's time like uh, uh, let's milk it to see what all the partitions are available here. Okay. So here um, you have uh, uh, the disk, right? And then this is also a disk. These are all LVM partitions, right? So if you want to delete a like a normal partition, uh, like a primary partition, okay? So what you can do is uh, you have disk slash div, okay? Whatever the disk that you have, uh, the partition, you can you can use it, okay? So here um, everything like SDA is the only one, right? So I'll take SDA for now okay m for help here you can see a uh, d for deletion deletion of partition right so you can use d uh, and then give enter to delete a partition here it is asking for partition number whether it is a one or two okay so two means like uh, slash is the file system one means like slash boot right so uh, like both are required now i'm not deleting it so if you want to delete it this is how you can delete using a d option okay and uh, one more um, thing, uh, once you D, uh, option use D, right, give enter, and then you can use W here to write to the disk, okay? So that is how you can use it, but I don't want to um, uh, do make any changes here. So what I'll do is I'll just do a control C uh, exiting without doing any changes, okay? So um, that is like simple option uh, using fdisk command, we can delete the um, partition. At the primary partition okay now how we need to delete the um like uh, uh, lvm partition that is the main thing right so usually get in real time to delete the lvm partitions or decommission lvm partitions whenever those are not required at all for our business and all okay so how you delete them right so first what you need to do is right so, uh, for example, you you ask to delete the um, partition slash aura data, for example. Okay. So first, what you need to do is first you need to unmount this partition slash aura data, right? So you just unmount it. This is temporary, right? So if you run lsblk now or df-ht, you don't be able to see the mount point. Even if you run again mount a, you can still see it because a mount hyphen here means it will refresh this slash it is fs of entries, right? So what you need to do? You mount first, you need to unmount the slash or a data file system. Okay. Then you need to delete the entry in the slash it is fs tab. Okay. So what is the entry? So slash or a data, this line I'm deleting it and saving this. Okay. And mount hyphen here, if you give now, it will get refreshed. Okay. Now if you see, the partition is like unmounted now, right? Now we need to delete the LV, LVM partition, right? So LV partition, we need to delete. How to delete it actually? So uh, if you run LVS command and VGS command, you can see what all the LVs are and what all VGS are present. So this is LV we need to delete, right? So LV remove is the command to delete the LV. And uh, here slash dev, we need to give the uh, name like uh, VG name and then the LV name. This is the LV path, complete LV path we need to give. Okay. So this will remove actually um, the LVM partition. Okay. Successfully removed. You can see it. successfully logical volume got removed. Right. Now, if there are like, if you see like uh, VGS command, if you run and uh, LVS command, you can run. Right. So there is no, uh, I mean, there is one more like MySQL data, MySQL data LV, right. In the database VG, right? So you cannot delete the VG. So you deleted a partition, logical, logical volume, Oracle LV, you deleted, right? Logical volume got deleted. Now you need to actually uh, remove it, right? So what do you need to do now? If you see here LSBLK, 
you can see uh, SDD is the only disk it's available and PVVG also available if you run PVS if you run VGS the the disk SDB is already part of uh, this one and it is uh, already added to the VG right so uh, we cannot delete the disk so this is how you can delete the uh, decommissioning of partition LV partition okay for example you wanted to remove um, the complete VG okay what you need to do what are all the uh, LVs that you created under one VG you need to delete all of those got it so I, I'm, I'm going to delete this one also but for example okay slash mysql data how you need to delete you mount slash mysql data right unmounted in a slash it is a test tab i need to remove the entry here for mysql data remove it so and and if you see lsblk now you can see it is unmounted now you need to remove lv right so lv remove slash dev slash vg name and then lv name okay just give enter okay successfully removed now if you run lsblk right the uh, the this is also freed up right now if you see lvs command no lvs the uh, no lvs uh, i have it here now right and then th these are like the system system stuff this is for this for slash file system and uh, the swap is for swap partition okay so uh, if you run vgs command vg is there right so under this vg under this vg if you if you see lvs there, there is no VG, database VG is not there. So it means but under this VG, there are no um, LVs, right? Now you can delete the VG also. So let's delete the VG also for now. Let's see, okay? VG remove and VG name, simple. Once you delete it, if you run PVS command, right? So these two are free. There is no VG assigned here, right? It is empty. It is also empty, right? You want to remove these two PVs. How to remove PV? PV remove, simple. PV remove slash dev uh, slash dev slash sdb there is one more slash dev slash sdc also that is also same same thing right removing these two wiped out fully data gone right now if you see pvs there are no pvs and if you see the disk right um, uh, so if you see sdb sdc still we have right so what you need to do in this case right so you need to actually um, actually remove right so you need to actually remove these two disks. How to how to remove actually? So um, these two disks we, we should remove from a VMware. Before re removing VMware, even if you remove from VMware, it will not go here. So first what you need to do is, you need to delete the disk at OSN, then, uh, then we request VMware team to delete those disks if you require, okay? So first you need to run the, like you need to disable echo offline. Uh, you need to use this echo offline greater than slash sys uh, block sdd or sdb sdb right no, we have, our disk is sdb and then slash device and then state okay if you run this command actually it will disable the disk first then we need to actually delete the disk using like echo one greater than slash sys block sdb slash device and then uh, delete okay delete the this is the command you need to use to delete the disk from server okay delete it now if you see lsblk you won't be able to see right now you can see only sdc right sdc also you can remove in the same way echo offline to uh, actually disable the disk right for sdc done and echo one if you run echo one slash sys block sdb uh, this is here sdc we need to give to delete the disk from okay once this is done what you need to do you can do lsblk now you can see there are sdc sdb both the disks are deleted right now you can remove those disks uh, you can request vmware team to delete those or uh, if you have access to or delete you can delete them or you can keep passes if you do not require if you request space or something like that you can delete those disks and then you can use for different server as well right if you have space right so that is how you can uh, do it right so that is all for now um uh, so if you have any questions uh feel feel free to um comment uh okay and uh, 
we can meet on next video thank you for watching this video bye bye